Wake Island. Finally, it is back to Battlefield 5. Let's play around and see how we do here. <laughs> well, that's the way to start. Anyway, so I got the BAR. Of course, because I cannot use a tank in this sector. Maybe I'll get a tank later on if I die in the next sector. But anyway, for the BAR, it is quite an interesting weapon. Especially after the 5.2 patch. It is such an iconic weapon. A lot of people are worried that DICE might screw it up because of how the damage model have been shifted in the past week. And I've been using it for maybe three games now. And I have to say it is mediocre. I wouldn't say it is complete trash like the FG42. But at the same time, it is not as fantastic as some other weapons like the KE7, Lewis Gun, or the Matson. So the faster firing mode has a fire rate of 720 rounds per minute, which is actually quite impressive. The damage drop off is 6 to 9 bullets to kill depending on the distance. And the slower firing mode actually has a different damage drop off model, which does not make any sense whatsoever. Oh my god, there's so many tanks! But has a rate of fire of 490 rounds per minute with the exact same damage model as the Matson, which is 6 bullets to kill at all ranges. So in comparison to the Matson, the BAR is definitely inferior when it is used in the slower rate of fire mode. It has less bullets per magazine and a lower rate of fire. But of course, the BAR has the cool factor and it also has the fast firing mode to compensate for it in case someone does come up close and you want to mac dump. I have been switching fire modes depending on where I think I'll be engaging the enemy and it is actually quite fun doing that. Even this doesn't make any logical sense, it does feel almost like I'm driving a stick shift car, constantly having to change gears, depending on what situation I'm in. So now I am in the fast firing mode, there's a guy behind me, completely wrecked him. There's also a bunch of tanks up there, so let's see what I can do. Let's get this guy first. I think we're losing the sector soon, maybe. Too many tanks up here. Oh! That was fast. Let's see if I can get that tank too. Nope. Where did my ammo box drill? Oh, it's right here. Never mind. And this is Wake Island map. There's just so many US tanks. It is ridiculous. And if you capture the point, you even get more tanks spawn on the spot. But that doesn't matter now since I have the tank. Let's see if I can stop the American Blitzkrieg. Ooh, that was a big explosion there. Oh, there's a tank already pushed up to the runway. Got him. I think I'm going to stay back here for just a second. We'll clean off some of these infantry and tanks pushing up first. And then we'll probably go up to A to defend. Let's see if I can get that tank. Maybe not. There's an infantry sitting in here. Got him. Ooh. Oh, okay. I'll take that. The control tower definitely blocked my shot there. Oh, he is shooting at me. That is an LVT. But he's not going to win. My gun is way bigger than his. <laughs> I'm just being cocky. And I missed my shot. Oh, he's almost dead. What? That didn't hit. Oh my god, Sherman! You know what? Let's just finish him first. Oh, this Sherman is completely oblivious. He was looking straight at me. Oh, he fell back. Dang it. Oh, I ran out of ammo too. Alright, done resupplying. Let's go back. Oh, he's right here. Okay. <laughs> he completely failed at armor angling. So, armor angling for 5.2 changed drastically, which I'm going to make a separate video on, but to sum it up, you have to have almost perfect angle to deal maximum damage now. And even if you just angle 
by 10 degrees, you're already going to get the normal damage, which is not particularly fantastic. And here's an LVT. Four shots to his turrets. Did not kill him. But that's okay. I'll get him later on. There's an infantry right here. Get him too. Oh. What? Where are these guys at? Oh, he's in the bush. There's another one here. Wait. Yep. The proximity ID definitely is a little bit OP on a tank since I probably wouldn't have seen him. But anyway, let's push up to A and see what we got. We still have that LVT that we didn't finish. Oh. Well, that's a different LVT. That's the AA version. And I do not fear him. Oh, there he goes. That was perfect side damage, by the way. Let's clean up some of these infantry here. Okay. Oh, we're losing B. Oh, no. There's the LVT that I was shooting at earlier. We lost a sector. That's not good. But, you know what? Let's just finish this LVT before we fall back. There we go. And we are now at the last sector. And it does not have a resupply spot. I don't understand why DICE decided to do this. This is the same on Aris, where the last sector does not have a resupply station. Which is very annoying. I, mean, I want to resupply my tank. But it is what it is. <laughs> there are 340 tickets left. Oh my goodness. I do not have enough shells or ammo to continue guarding this area. There are a few more here. I am going to conserve my ammunition as much as possible, especially my actual tank shell, so I'm going to use my MGs a little bit more. I will probably have blasted him behind the cover with my main gun otherwise, but you know what? Let's just save it for the time being, unless it is necessary, like maybe now. Fine, I'll use it on you. Oh, plane. Oh, it's too high. Oh! <gasps> no! Well, that was inevitable, so now I am back to using the BAR since it's the last sector. I don't get to spawn any more tanks. The BAR is actually not bad. The more I use it, the more I think it's actually pretty fun to use. Of course, I wish its damage model is better for the faster firing rate mode. I think if it is maybe like, what, even 5 to 8 bullets to kill, it would be much better rather than 6 and 9. We'll switch to the lower rate of fire mode and kill some people from long distance, which is consistently 6 bullets to kill. Now for a closer range, I think the faster rate of fire mode at 720 rounds per minute is going to mow some of these people down. Even for longer distances, it is usable. So I'm not going to keep switching between them. Like here, you can still kill a person with one mag. Yep. One person per mag. Oh, there's a guy in the AA cannon. I'm getting shot from behind. Where is he at? Oh, right here. Oh my goodness. I am terrible. Let's finish him off. Has to be more around here. Yeah, definitely for these longer range, if you have the time, switch to lower rate of fire. It's going to be much more beneficial. It's more accurate too. Recoil is lower. Got this guy prone right here. Got him. Alright, let's go on the right side. Some people pushing over here. This is actually a quite common flank for people to push from. There are some people over on the hill. Alright, let's see if there are more. There's one still back here. Almost got him. Oh my goodness, there are so many here. Switch to the faster rate of fire, but still couldn't finish them. Oh, dies! Why? The reload bug with the med pack. Dang it. Anyway, they're pushing. I'm gonna drop a V1. 
Now V1, technically. AKI-147 Eagle! Nope. <gasps> that is amazing. Wow, okay. 74 tickets left. Let's see if we can hold them off here. We have been doing quite well holding them off at this last objective. Uh, there are a couple running past me. Which I have completely failed at killing them. There should be more. Ooh. Ooh. That's another one. There should be more. Nice. Triple. Alright. Couple more tickets left. We got this! We got this team! I couldn't even drop the final artillery. Someone's dropping it. But that's alright. I think we got this. Yes! Finally! Wow, 114 kills. This is crazy! And that is the end of the video. If you don't like it, you know what to do. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. And you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you on the island.